Okay, so we just got through completing our Great Depression passage, answering the question, and drawing a picture. We also watched the video that went with this QR code um, about the back, uh, Great Depression. So, what is something you learned after reading this passage about the Great Depression? Bryson? The stock market crashed, yeah. causing a chain of events that would impact Americans and people all over the world. Okay? So the stock market is where people invest money or put money in the stock market. And when that crashed, it caused our um, economy, which is, has to do with money and how the flow of money comes in and out. I know it's very complicated for you guys to understand, but when the stock market crashed, that's what caused everything to kind of go haywire and jobs were no longer available. So this is what caused the Great Depression, okay? So that's something we learned. What else did we learn? Kelsey? There were many great inventions such as refrigerators, but the demand for these engines wasn't as high as the rate. Good. The demand for these engines was so people started getting creative during this time. There were many great inventions, such as refrigerators, but the demand for these items wasn't as high as the rate at which they were being made. So what that means is, the demand means how much people want it. So they may have been making 100 refrigerators a month, but maybe only... 50 were being sold. People weren't actually going out and buying them. So even though they had all these wonderful things they were inventing, people were not going out and purchasing them at the rate at which they were being made. So there was always extra left over, if that makes sense. So really, what, what happens if you make all of this stuff and you put in your time and money to create an invention, but then you don't sell all of them? Are you going to end up losing money or making money? Losing Probably money. Not losing, losing money. money. Not so losing then money. they're actually being hurt by their invention instead of being helped by their invention because people aren't buying them enough to make up for the cost that it, it took to actually make the refrigerator. Okay? What else did you learn, Allie? They did not have a lot of money to buy Good. Even basic things like food and clothes was hard for them to to get. They didn't have enough money. Okay. Uh, what else, Brandon? They're hungry. So it kind of talked about um, down here where it says. Childhood was no longer a carefree, joyous time as parents were worried about having enough food and a roof over their heads. So Christmas presents, birthday presents, none of that was important anymore. Nobody really got those things because there was just not enough money. They had to worry about buying food and clothes, the important things. The book we're reading. Yeah, so now it kind of makes you understand what Henry in the story was going through, right? Because he was living during this time period, the Great Depression. That's why their house is falling apart. They're going and trying to just cut down trees to sell them to make some sort of money to provide for their family. And that's why he wakes up every morning cold because they probably don't have heat or electricity. Or okay? Or blankets. Right, or war they might not even have warm, warm clothes. The, yeah. At the end of the story, how they made the warm house, how did they do that if they didn't have electricity? They donated the house, remember? The well, they they have they can build a house with a, some place to burn wood. You can burn wood to heat up your house. Okay. Kelsey? Oh, well, plus, your house is going to be a lot warmer if it's built well. If it's built kind of like it's falling apart, then the air and the cold wind can get in there a lot more easily. So if they build good walls, then it keeps the cold air out. So it's not as cold. Kelsey? 
Is Henry real? Yes. I don't think Henry in this story was an actual person that, um, like a true story, okay. but but the overall story, it's like realistic, realistic um, fiction. So, so we evil. know that some of these things really did take place, but it's just kind of changing up the characters and making things up to go with it. Okay. Anything else? Okay, so now what we're going to talk about is schema. I went around and put this on your desk, and we cut it out, and we glued it in our reading notebook. So let's read about read schema. Read sure, go ahead, Kelsey. My schema is everything in my brain. My schema is the way it, um, the way it is because of my life. Let's actually, let's start over. Like, can you read that again, please, and talk a little bit louder? My schema is everything in my brain. My schema is the way it, it is because of my life experiences. My schema is different than everyone else's because we have different factors that have impacted us. It is important for me to use my schema to help me relate, relate, to characters and better understand what the author is saying. Okay, so schema is everything in your brain. Is my schema the same as yours? No. No, because I've lived a lot longer than y'all. I've gone through different situations and I've gone through many different experiences probably than you guys have. So your schema is not the same as everybody else's. It depends on what you have gone through in your life. So it's your life experiences. Even your brothers. And, yeah, even your brothers because they may experience different things in school, in sports, if they play different sports, through the people they're friends with. So a lot of different things can impact your schema, okay? Um, so schema is important because it helps you relate to characters and better understand what the author is saying okay so take for example the Great Depression you guys probably didn't know what that was when we first read the story the carpenter's gift okay but now that you've watched a video we've read the passage and we've talked about what we've learned you have a little bit more schema about the Great Depression right Yep. And that helps you better understand what Henry was going through, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, because before you were probably like, oh, well, he just has a, a house that's falling apart. I mean, I can relate to that. My house falls apart sometimes, and I have to fix it. Okay, But it is way more than that. They were struggling. Kids had to help their parents. They didn't really get to enjoy the little things like you guys get to enjoy. They probably didn't go out and play very much. They were working. They had to work to help their parents because it was so hard to get a, a job. And it said in the video that kids were hired more than adults. Why was that? Why would they want to hire a kid more than a grown adult, Kelsey? Because um, the kids, they hired the kids because they, they, um, the parents, they were still going, they had to... The kids were trying to help pay the bills. The kids were trying to help pay the bills. But as an employer, if I have a business, why would I go and hire a young kid versus an adult? Do y'all remember what they said, Bryson? Because, um, because they don't have the money to pay. Was it cheaper to pay the kid than it was an adult? Yes. 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 So the business owner is saving money by hiring a kid because they don't pay the kid as much okay so now I want you to write one thing now that you better understand about the story after you've learned more background knowledge on the Great Depression okay so schema how can you relate to Henry now that you've had more background knowledge added to your schema after learning about the Great Depression okay so write one thing that you can now relate 
to Henry and better understand him now. You don't have to write this question. I'm just writing it so you don't have to keep um, asking. Write one thing that you can now relate to Henry and better understand him after adding to your schema Okay, when we add into our schema about the Great Depression by reading about it and watching a video. Okay, so write one thing that you can now relate to Henry better because of watching those video, that video and reading. Okay, those of you at home can do the same thing. Write one thing that you can now better relate to Henry because of your schema after learning more about the Great Depression.